Jesus Christ. Uh, today, we again have a prayer from Johann Gerhardt. Uh, life can contemplated according to the first table of the law. That would be the first three commandments. The holy God, the just judge, you gave to us your law at Mount Sinai. We learn from Exodus 20, verse 1. You desired that it be the norm for all of our actions, words, and thoughts. Thus, whatever does not agree with the norm is considered sin in your judgment. 1 John 2, 3 and 3, 4. Whatever I look into the brilliant, whenever I look into the brilliant mirror, I see my foolishness and I temper, temp, tremble violently. I ought to love you, God, above all things, but I often love the world and become oblivious to loving you. 1 John 2.15 I ought to fear you, God, above all things, but I often sin willingly and forget to fear you. You require that I trust in you, but God above all things. But in difficult situations, my heart often wavers, and I nervously and anxiously doubt your fatherly care. I ought to obey you, my God, with my whole heart, but my stubborn flesh often oppresses opposes my intention to obey and takes me prisoner, captive to sin. Romans 7.23 My thoughts ought to be holy, my desires holy and pure, but often the glory of a quiet mind is disturbed by conceited and impious thoughts. I ought to call on you, my God, with my whole heart, but my mind often wanders while praying and is anxiously troubled, wandering wondering if my prayers are heard, how negligent I am in prayer, and how feeble am in, in trust. How often indeed my tongue prays, but I do not worship you in spirit and truth, from John 4, 23. How often I completely forget the kindness you show me every day. You lavishly pour out your gifts on me, but I do not pour forth thanks to you. How cold are my thoughts, concerning the vast and countless gifts you have given to me. How incredibly feeble the devotion of my heart. I use your gifts, but do not praise you, their, their giver. I am stuck in the streams that I do not list hasten to, to the source. Your word is the Spirit's word of life, but I often hinder it from bringing forth fruit. I ruin the work of the Holy Spirit in me more often than not. I snuff out the spark of good intention. I do not I do not anxiously ask for the increase of your gifts. For this and all my sins and failures, I offer to you, my God, the, fa the faultless and perfect obedience of your Son who in the days of his flesh loved you perfectly with his whole heart and depended com completely on you. No taint of sin was found in his deeds, words, and thoughts. Isaiah 53, 9. Not even the slightest stain of guilt, that which I lack I confidently draw from his rich supply because of your beloved Son. Have mercy on me, your servant, O Lord. Amen. Blessings on your worship today. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.